There's a scene in the second season of The Comedian's Table. Maybe it's at the Comedy Cellar. Mm -hmm. and Which is, can I interject Sammy Boy? Yeah. I'm just so thrilled. That's the real comedy. You know what I mean? Like we're shooting in the shoot cellar. in the real at the place where all the stuff happened. A table I didn't used to be allowed to sit at, which is good. That's how it should be. You're supposed to earn it. But now we're shooting there with the real guys and kind of capturing some of the fun of how they make fun of each other and all that sort of it's, it's kind of roasty in that area. Not as Very much as it much used so. to be. And it made me question how you dealt with that period of your life of questioning yourself, am I good enough? Can I be quick enough to be at this table? Yeah, that's interesting. I, th I think one of the worst things that could happen is a break before you're ready. Because when you're in anonymity, nobody cares. Like you're free to fail. And that's really where you learn. I think that's one of the reasons why stand-ups become better faster than, and I don't have the, the research for this. You don't have the raw data. I'm positing. I don't have the raw data. But then a writer, meaning yeah. I do both. But a writer, it's in a vacuum. You get feedback later. Plus, failing as a writer isn't as painful as being up there, deer in the headlights, scared. So there's literally something very kind of primal going on that you better make your jokes better or you're going to feel pain. And that's, like, it's, that's one of the things. It's almost like boxing. If you don't get faster and quicker, you're going to keep getting punched in the face by the audience and sometimes by other comedians, but definitely by the audience. So you have this, you have a greater motivating force behind you than just maybe I'll send this to my editor and he won't like it. Right, you and know? then I can go back into my cave and no one will know and exactly. I'll try again. Imagine if you're standing in front of 70 editors and sometimes they're drunk and sometimes they're yelling and the author before you is Dave Chappelle. I mean, like it's, you I, have to grow. That sounds terrible. It does sound terrible. And that's kind of one of the things about the show. And one of the things I think makes it hopefully likable is the way that I feel about comedians is anybody that's willing to risk that sort of humiliation has to love it. Yes. That's something that I tell a lot of people. A lot of people think they want to be comedians or they want to be actors or whatever it might be. I, I, I like to say with love, I go follow the dream that's also following you. You know what I mean? It's like meet the dream in the middle, but see which one's coming your way, where your talents lie, where your instincts lie. What, what's really inside of you. Because you can't just pick the one that has the most glamour. You have to be a little delusional, but don't be too delusional. Okay, so, <laughs> so that's interesting, because it is, it is on it's a, a spectrum. Curve. Yeah, it, you should be right here in your delusion.